Welcome everybody to Building South Lake episode 103, I believe is where we are at in our episodes. So today we're going to kind of work on a brand new skyscraper. I know we have a couple other ones that we have not finished yet. I'm not really sure if you consider these skyscrapers though. I'm also not sure how tall I'm going to make this one, but it's just kind of a start. Um, so last part, the last two parts actually, I think, we worked on this sandstone or sand building. It's actually looking really good so far. I turned it this way. You can see where the front doors are. Uh, nice little balcony and I might I feel like this might be like an office building or something like that um, But this new building that we're gonna make is going to be a pretty tall building It's not gonna be nearly as tall as this one over here But I do want to make it maybe the same height if not a little bit bigger than the one that you see right in front of us now Oh my goodness, so it is October So we have a lot a lot a lot of new games coming out, which is ridiculous We have what next week at the end of next week. I think uh, Battlefield 1 coming out, which I am very, very excited for. If you guys don't know, I am a big fan of the Battlefield series. Uh, Battlefield Hardline was eh to me. Uh, the last good Battlefield to me was Battlefield 4. Uh, I don't, there's like something about it to where it just made it like so much better than every other Call of Duty, or not Call of Duty, um, every other Battlefield game recently. So I'm really hoping that Battlefield 1 can kind of have that same aspect of replayability into it. But let's see, next month there is Call of Duty, what, Advanced Warfare? Like, I, I forgot what they're calling it now. I think that's what it's called, Advanced Warfare. It's something like that. Only reason why I will be buying that is the Call of Duty 4 Remastered is the thing I'm very, very excited for. Because Call of Duty 4 was, I think, if, I, if I'm not mistaken, my very first Call of Duty that I ever played. And at that time, and you can ask so many people and watch videos on this... But if you ask a lot of people, they'll probably say like Call of Duty 4 was their favorite Call of Duty of all time. And a lot of people probably don't understand like why. Like what made Call of Duty 4 so great compared to every other Call of Duty? Um, and it's really just the simplicity of it. I mean, there was so much. I mean, I'm sure you guys have all played first person shooters and stuff like that now. I mean, you probably even grew up with maybe Black Ops 1, 2, you know, whatever it is. But at the time, you know, Call of Duty was very simple. You know, you only had three kill streaks. And that was it. You only had three in Call of Duty 4. The first game to really start introducing a ton of killstreaks was Modern Warfare 2. Which, Modern Warfare 2 would probably be my second favorite Call of Duty. But that was kind of the downhill after that for me. Mainly just because it became too complicated. You know, you added all these killstreaks. Um, you know, it was just, it got out of hand. You had, you know, 30,000 weapon attachments and stuff like that. To where in Call of Duty 4, it was just so simple. You had... Three kill streaks. Everybody had them, so you're on the same playing field with everybody. Nobody would have a tactical nuke or anything. Um, but then you could only have one attachment on a gun, and the guns worked really well. The mats are well thought out, and it was just a very well-rounded game, even including the campaign, which is kind of a rare thing to see nowadays. But it's definitely just one of those things where it's it was a different time, I guess, might be the best way to put that. And when I say that, it makes me sound old, but <laughs> it's not what I am trying to come across as. But uh, you. If you're on my friends list, or if you had me on your friends list, you're probably going to see that I'll be playing Call of Duty 4 probably quite a bit. I mean, probably Battlefield would be my main game. Um, then maybe the remaster for Call of Duty 4, and then Rainbow Six Siege. Those are like the three games I really play nowadays. Um, I'm playing some other games and stuff like that. Like on PC, I am playing some GTA for fun, and all the mods are just amazing. It's amazing how many mods there are. And also, I kind of want to mention this. So a lot of you guys were wondering a while ago, where did, I think, the GTA Life, I think is what I called it, the Grand Theft Auto Life, or I forgot what I called it, um, if that series was ever going to come back. Now, the answer to that is not on this channel. My other channel, which the link will be in the description, um, you will actually find a new trailer for a GTA series that I'm going to be starting up. Kind of the same thing, kind of to an extent. Um, I'm going to kind of put some twist on things, but I don't want to give too much away. So if you guys can go subscribe to my new channel, uh, you know, help us, you know, support us. And even if you don't want to, you know, watch our videos, maybe subscribe and just, you know, see if you like the content before you, like, don't knock it before you try it kind of thing. Uh, because we are putting, I think, a lot of quality content out now. And I think a lot of that is just because we're so happy to be recording again and, you know, having fun recording with our friends and stuff like that. And the more support we get, the more videos we can make, and hopefully get more friends in on it as well, which is the main goal, is playing with your friends is something that I've always wanted to be able to do. Uh, oh my god, we're not even halfway there. 
So this building, I'm not sure, again, there's so many like undetermined on how I want to do this building and how I want it to work. Um, Cause I have a, diff a couple of different thoughts in my head. So you see the green glass panes or lime green glass panes in my inventory right here. So also we need to fill this bottom layer in real quick. Doop, 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 doop. So I'm not sure there's two different ways I want to do this. I want to have like a portion kind of come out a little bit. Uh, I don't even know how to describe it. Maybe, ooh, maybe this might work. I'm going to save this real quick and we're going to kind of test some of these things. So maybe what would be a good material? Di or granite? Uh, do we, we use granite over there. It didn't look bad. What about brick? Would brick look good? Yeah, see, red and other brick is just too... Yeah, it's too red. Uh, where is this our regular brick? Here it is. So if we started like right here, right? So like one, two, three, four, five, six blocks. We come up a little bit, you know. So our first floor would be here. So this would be one window. And maybe we'd have like two of these. So just like this. All right. And we, we might have like two of these back to back or something. Or maybe we can even just keep going up. So we'd have one here, three tall. Boop. And just kind of keep doing the same thing up and up until you kind of run out of space a little bit. And I'm, I feel like that actually looked pretty good. So the rest of this from like it wouldn't stay like this so like the rest of this stuff right here would be moved over and let's see like filled this in so basically you're eliminating how much glass is in the building itself to an extent but at the same time you're just kind of adding a little bit more design to some smaller things so like this one comes all the way up again and oh my footage is my footage is oh god oh god there we go so i've seen this design quite a few places so I wonder how it would actually look in the end. I haven't really done one of these yet. And again, it's a pretty popular design to see nowadays in buildings. So I don't see why it wouldn't work. Uh, but I just have to test it out real quick. Do, 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 do. Also, so the next house in our house series is going to be a mansion. So a lot of you guys might be excited about that. I know a lot of you guys love mansions. So if you do want to build and know how to build a brand new mansion, uh, come back next week for that because we are going to be building probably a pretty big mansion i'm not talking about like a tiny mansion i'm talking about a pretty big mansion so if you like mansions you might be excited for that so this would just keep coming up like this so how does it look from the back actually i kind of like how that looks it's very simple and it's going to keep going all the way up so like this one here would come up now so just like this do, do so we would have one here so this would come all the way over and basically just be kind of like a pattern going out through this entire thing just like this uh is that right actually we wouldn't have this here this would move over one like that and after a couple more windows we're gonna take a step back and look to see how this is looking again we're just kind of trying some new oop Ah, that's where I went wrong. We need to have a two gap here. Boop, boop. Get rid of this. Again, just make sure we don't mess up on small things like that. I forgot what building that... I think it was like three weeks ago that we messed up on. I can't remember what building it was. Huh. Oh, I remember which one it was. It was that apartment complex all the way over there. Yep, I remember it now. Are we all on three? We are, okay. So this one needs to come down like this. Perfecto. I really like how that is turning out. So when we take a step back and look, it's basically going to keep going all the way up until you're only left with glass from that, from then on. And it just adds a little bit more detail to some of these smaller designs and buildings. So I think that will look pretty good. And then I want to have our glass panes coming all the way up and down. And it's kind of meeting with that brick that we just laid. Haha, <laughs> laid. All right, uh, we need to put our uh, jumping boost, bo boost, our jumping boost on. If you don't know what that does, it allows you to build up faster um, in Xbox and like console editions. Now, the reason why I'm saying in console editions is because I do know that it's very hard to build fast in uh, PC. It's just a lot more touchy, so you can't really go as fa up as fast as like I am doing now. That's one of the reasons why I do enjoy building on Xbox more which some of you guys may know this if you've been watching my channel for a while. 
I'm gonna just keep coming all the way up with these. We're gonna take a step back and look to see how this looks and go from there. So it's up, oh, once you fire up. So with our green glass panes, so I like that, it just adds a little bit more color. It's not too much, but it's not too little either. I didn't want it to be white or black. We use those too much. So I wanted to go with something kind of neutral to an extent. Um, like somewhat bright, somewhat not bright. And I think this might be the best alternative to that. So let's kind of put these here. We are looking really good. I'm actually really liking this new building. And then this one would come across like this. And then you have another one. Boop, boop. Baboosh. Also, there's a new series on Amazon Prime that is going to be coming out in November. And if you got, if you're, Oh my goodness. If a lot of you guys are from England, you might have known about this. The whole uh, new Top Gear thing. Uh, is that wrong? Hold on. Hey, wait. Oh, oh, this needs to move over one more block. Aha. Again, just got to pay attention to those smaller details because they can really come and bite you in the butt if you don't get them right. So, this just needs to move over. Up, up. And boop, boop. There we go. And voila! So again, that's just going to continue going all the way up until we run out of space. But I like that. Hmm. Maybe on the other side, she may make it to where it goes up a little bit faster, so it's a little bit more steep. Instead of like two windows, maybe three. There's so many different options that we can really go with. So I think we're probably going to call it quits for this episode, guys. We should got a little bit more done than I thought we would in that amount of time. So in ten minutes, we got this entire wall erected and got this stuff started. So I will see you guys next week for another episode of Building South Lake. And thank you for watching and have a great day, night, morning, or wherever you are. Have a great day. So bye-bye.